on Ascension's airfield, short-range American planes pause and refuel on their flights to Africa. And from Ascension, patrol planes wing out in both directions, where the bulge of Africa and the bulge of Brazil squeeze the ocean together into the South Atlantic Narrows. Here the hunt for U-boats is pursued in a monotonous, unrelenting manner. Here more submarines are destroyed than in any other comparable stretch of ocean. God is a Brazilian because he has favored the land so lavishly. In August of 1942, Brazil joins the Allies in fighting the aggression that imperils the two Americas alike. The navies of Brazil and the United States have long worked together. Under the overall direction of Vice Admiral Jonas Ingram, commander of the United States Fourth Fleet, the resources, bases, Manpower and the training of the two great republics are pooled into one single, splendid cooperative effort. United States navies deny the South Atlantic to the Axis. The impact of sea power here is felt afar in the African desert, where 500 Sherman tanks convoyed safely through the narrows turn the tide of battle at El Alamein. Victory at sea in the South Atlantic means victory across the sea in North Africa. Places like Natal, Cape San Roque, Recife, Fortaleza, Belém, bases on the bulge of Brazil, the Navy sends up its aircraft to scan the aquamarine waters of the southern hemisphere. The blimps are the first of their kind to cross the equator. Their steady, patient patrols add another dimension to convoy protection. valley of the Amazon. Brazilians harvest the product without which wars cannot be won. Rubber. Here in the far-off primeval forests, the first primitive steps are taken to shoe the wheels that one day will roll across Italy and France, and then to Germany. North America is the arsenal of democracy, but South America pours out her wealth to keep the arsenal stocked.
has come through, bearing the wealth of the Southern Hemisphere. Refusing to pay one cent for tribute, but willing to spend millions for defense, the American republics have swept from the ocean highways of the South Atlantic their common foe. Spread wide across the sea, guarded by the might of nations which can fight side by side because they have learned to live side by side, the ships stream toward their goal. Allied victory. 